This has got to be one of the most comprehensive, dedicated image labeling models I've ever seen. And it runs in Google Colab. It's called Joy Caption, and this is the Alpha 2 release, which means it's not the final product yet. And there could be newer releases by the time you watch this video. Here I've inputted a picture of 37-year-old actor and comedian Jimmy O. Yang, and the caption it generated using the default settings is... This photograph features a middle-aged Asian man with shoulder-length black hair, wearing a black suit jacket over a floral pattern shirt. His expression is neutral, and he is positioned in front of a blue textured backdrop. An American flag is partially visible on the left side of the image. The lighting is even, highlighting the man's features and attire. The setting appears to be a formal or official environment. To get started, you'll want to open the notebook in my description and run it in Colab. This one takes a while to load, expect 10 to 20 minutes, so grab a coffee or two while you wait, though I've already loaded it when I started filming here. Once the Gradio link appears, click it and you'll arrive at this user interface. Note this is not my notebook, it's still a work in progress. Once it's loaded, you'll find that there are so many different options for captioning these images. I won't go through all of them, but here are just a sample. Let's try recaptioning it with a Boru tag list option instead. While it's calculating the tags, I'd like to show you the prompt that is being sent to the notebook if you open the notebook tab here. And I won't read all of the tags here, but you can see they're just that words or short phrases describing an aspect of the subject of the photo. And it also describes the person's racial or ethnic features like being Asian or Chinese, depending on your stable diffusion training needs. You may or may not want this info in the caption, so here's where the advanced options come into play. Here, the second option allows you to remove characteristics of people that cannot be changed like ethnicity and gender. Let's select that and run it again. Unfortunately, it seems like it still mentioned the person's ethnicity here. Hey, this is still an alpha version, so I wouldn't expect perfect results here. Why don't we try running it with that second advanced option checked, but with the default captioning scheme of descriptive instead. Okay, now there's no mention of the person's ethnicity here anymore. It looks like suppressing labels related to gender or ethnicity only works on some of the captioning options like descriptive here. Anyways, just for fun, let's take a photo of myself with my webcam and have it label it. As you can see here, it's captioned myself along with my office here. It's made no mention of me being Asian here since I forgot to remove that option to ignore ethnicities. But one thing you gotta watch out here, this system automatically crops the edges out of the photo. And if there's anything important on the edges, well, the model's not gonna see those. There may be ways to customize the cropping process, but we'll have to fork this notebook and or repository to make those adjustments ourselves. By the way, there is an option in this for providing the model a custom prompt. Note that when we were selecting the image captioning options above, these generated a prompt which gets passed to the model along with our image, but we don't have full control over this prompt, as you can see in the notebook tab here. So why don't we try putting in a new prompt to caption this image from the perspective of a secret FBI agent. And the FBI agent captions the image as follows. This is a photograph of an Asian man with short, dark hair and glasses wearing a green jacket. He stands in a modest, dimly lit living room with a white ceiling and a ceiling fan. To his left, a window with white blinds allows sunlight to filter in. A small bookshelf on the wall holds a few books and a framed picture. 
The room is tidy but lacks decorative elements, giving it a utilitarian feel by. I guess that seems reasonable. And you can see there it disregarded the option to ignore ethnicity since the custom prompt overrides all of the options we've selected before. But just to show you the limitations of this model since the creator even admitted that it was mostly trained on the options we've provided here. Let's put something nonsensical into the custom prompt like, hello world. And as you can see, even when I put hello world into the prompt, it still tries to caption the image. A photograph of an Asian man with short black hair, wearing glasses and a dark shirt, sitting indoors. The room has white walls, a ceiling fan with a light, and a window with blinds. A bookshelf and a TV are visible in the background. Yet this model has a lot of potential, but right now it's limited to labeling images though in many different ways. I'll leave you to play around with it with the link in the description rather than explore all possible combinations of settings. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and would like more, please like and subscribe. Peace.